The Andhra Pradesh Open University is the first open university in the country established by an act of the Andhra Pradesh State Legislature in 1982. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Bhavanam Venkatram, and the Education Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri K. Kesha Rao, are instrumental to set up this university. The university was inaugurated by the President of India, Sri Gyani Jail Singh, on August 26, 1982. Professor G. Ram Reddy was appointed as the first Vice Chancellor of Andhra Pradesh Open University. There are thousands of people who, for various reasons, could not go to the university. They now want to have access to higher education. Therefore, distance education or open university system tries to meet these demands for higher education in the society. The Andhra Pradesh Open University was started in 1982 while IGNO in 1985. The great architect of distance education, Prof. G. Ramridi is prided upon for the popularity of distance education across the nation. In 1988, the government of Andhra Pradesh allotted 53.63 acres of land to the university in Hyderabad at Jubilee Hills to construct its own buildings. The foundation stone for the buildings was laid by Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, Vice President of India on July 2nd 1988. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Nandamuri Taraka Rama Rao said, The government of Andhra Pradesh rechristened AP Open University as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University in 1991 to commemorate the centenary celebrations of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the architect of Indian constitution. The site is surrounded by hillocks and Durgam Chiruvu Lake. The hillocks were molded into beautiful structures for the empowerment of underprivileged sections of the people. It took almost four years to complete the university buildings and it was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India, Sri P. V. Narsimha Rao, on 31st August 1994. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said, The studies about open university, the open university system as a system, the curiosity uh, about the system, the desire to learn about the system, to examine it, to get into details, all this was done in Andhra Pradesh even before 1982. 82 was the culmination of all this effort the culmination of all these trials and tribulations and because it was the first university, it has a first to its credit, but to the credit of Andhra Pradesh goes the entire hard work that went into the making of an open university. The university housed its buildings of administration and student support services, academic, center for staff training and development, 
ऑडियो विजुअल प्रोडक्शन एंड लाइब्रेरी स्टडी मटेरियल हाउस मटेरियल प्रोडक्शन सेंटर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी मल्टी फंक्शनल लेबोरेटरी एंड ग्रेट ऑन द ब्यूटिफुल साइट फॉर द कन्वीनियंस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स द यूनिवर्सिटी हैज मेड इट एफर्ट्स टू सेट अप स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एंड पोस्ट ऑफिस ऑन इट्स प्रेमिसेस The successor vice chancellors of Dr B R Ambedkar Open University Prof C Narayan Reddy Prof R V R Chandrashekhar Rao Prof S yes, Bashiruddin Prof S Afzal Mohammad Prof S V S Prasad Prof S D Ramchandram Prof S O R Reddy and Dr P Prakash made outstanding contribution for establishing the credentials of the university After formation of Telangana state our vice chancellor professor K Sitarama Rao has taken many initiatives like introducing choice based credit system at undergraduate level adopting OER policy for the institution there is a need for systematic approach to mainstreaming and promoting its use in indian higher education system teachers and learners generally have a positive attitude towards use of open education resources and contributing to it academicians need additional or special support and external motivation for contributing to open education resources and starting digital on screen evaluation for the assessment of the students the open learning system provides an opportunity to majority of the unrated sections of people that is skilled and unskilled workers housewives jawans prison inmates and all those who could not be accommodated under conventional system the faculty members actively engage in realizing the academic objectives of the university they plan and develop the printed course materials and revise them at periodic intervals in addition to this they contribute towards designing and developing audio and video programs and also participate in teleconferencing programs the university functions through a network of study centers spread across the two states telangana and andhra pradesh where delivery services are provided to the students these study centers are located by and large in government and government aided colleges the university which started functioning with 26 study centers in 1983-84 increased its number to 104 by 1995 96 and 212 by 2016-17 widening the access to higher education to more number of people it is to be noted that the number 212 includes 23 regional coordination centers located at the district headquarters similarly the number of programs which were just 4 in 1983-84 had increased to 38 by the year 2016-17 this includes bachelor's master's and diploma programs in addition the university has decided to revive its research programs mphil and phd in various subjects from the academic year 2017-18 which were kept on hold by the ugc 4 years ago The enrollment of students for the year 2018 and 2019 in all programs put together is 125000 thus the university has been maintaining its status as major university consistently from the year 2002 and 2003 onwards It is heartening to note that The university puts the learners first with the motto of education for all to establish an egalitarian society which is the vision of 
डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर